So, it's been a long time. And, uh, oh, maybe two, three months since I did the uh, last uh, blood check. I think I got very comfortable with it. So, gonna remove the old pokey thing and have I been good to myself honestly no this could be a shocker well I have continued my exercising yes mm, but in terms of food or rather sugar not or not as bad as I was in August September on prior to that that's, that's when I started uh, uh, <clears throat> started uh, you know I just became aware of blood sugar and all that since then yes there's a minor uh, change in the way well uh, till February there was a very drastic change in the way I uh, uh, managed my sugar intake but then after Feb I was like uh, became very uh, relaxed about it something happened I don't know what I think that's just human uh, what can I say fuck ups this could be a shocker it's a morning test I haven't had anything so far ah. yeah baby you know I think me recording things changes the way I am aware of my blood sugar. If I did this without sharing, good God Almighty, good God Almighty, that's that's way I higher than I expected. Well, uh. It used to be in below 120 and uh, yeah I wanted to sh record this and I wanted to share this so that uh, you know the whole idea initially was that I might help people understand I know these are not really great videos to watch uh, but uh, um, now you saw how I used to be up till Feb, Jan end for sure, you know, I was below the 120 on, in the mornings or maybe 122, definitely below 130 and now I'm 148. So <clears throat> the, um, the idea was that um, by sharing these videos, you know, maybe somebody who's not into and who's not having as yet any blood problems would uh, maybe you know uh, start paying attention and the guy who was doing all these recordings he himself lost track of his thing anyway all I can say is uh, people that uh, once in a month or let's say once in a week you should do a blood check like this yeah once in a week because it will help you to get back to your, you know, to your track. Uh, did I reduce buying chocolates? Yes. But was I buying chocolate? Was I? Yes, I was. I found this new thing. Uh, it's uh, it's very nice. It's nice. It's it's uh, the whole idea of convincing myself to buy it was that, you know, it's small small pieces. It's sweet. I could manage. The fact is, I just sit and eat this and finish it in like two or three sittings. I mean, two or three days. That is, if I open it one day, I could finish it 50%. That's 170 grams of uh, uh, this thing. Uh, or I might finish 33%, whatever. But within three days, it will be over. Now that I've done the blood check, you know, maybe I'll get back to my levels of January. Uh, blah 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 etc and you dear viewer they don't say that sugar is a silent killer for nothing now if I go to the hospital and check with my doctor again he'll be like oh 
no way no way you know you 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 got to go back you know you got to uh, take take medication this and that and i hate medication and now the thing is i have to ask myself am i damaging my internal organs by not going to the doctor knowing that i have a 148 uh and then i might have some illusion that i'll control it myself or am i going to the doctor and you know take the medication <sighs> well anyway i got the result i'll do another test tomorrow just to validate and see and and, and today i'll definitely not have any sugar uh, promised to me and uh, let's see fingers crossed i shall be uploading and uh, things etc hope you like my videos whoever you are you may be one person you may be a million person a million people So, to millions and millions of my fans today or after 10 years ta ta